Hi everybody, Tennis Coach Robert here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about um, the lack of lines people out there after the pandemic. So I have a very good friend of mine who's a professional umpire and there are lines people all over the place. But what I notice over and over is that people are hitting tennis balls while calling lines. So for, exa <clears throat> for example, I see this all the time. You go ahead and hit the tennis ball and then you're standing around looking on the other side to see if your ball is in or out. And I see that all the time. I see people when they're playing doubles, instead of focusing on what's going on, uh, the hot seat person or the returner's uh, partner is standing like this, checking the lines to see if the ball is in or out. And the madness of this is that you have people who are professionals whose job it is to just stand like is or sit in a chair before the pandemic and call a line and in a match one or two of those calls are going to be missed and the interesting thing is that's all they're doing they're looking at the line and then you have umpires who are then making the appropriate um, corrections but the madness of this is that we have people more concerned about the one or two line balls that are close to the line so you know we have a foot the ball is right here and we have a foot out here so we're looking at very very small areas and it's amazing that we are so focused on that that we're absolutely missing shots so i see this all the time you hit the tennis ball and you look up and then you just look and see if the ball is in or out i know you guys know what i'm talking about because it happens all the time i see this business all the time so what we have to do is we have to develop some kind of trust and belief in what we're doing. So I'm gonna help you guys out or talk a little bit about the actual follow through. So what I do, and you will see this, it's something that perhaps you might see uh, very clearly with Federer sometimes, is that I keep my eye on the ball because my focus is hitting the ball. I really don't care if the ball is going in or out. If I do my job correctly, I have a high chance that the ball will go in. So I go ahead, I line up, I swing, I hit the ball, I'm looking at the ball. After I hit the ball, my racket continues forward. I'm still looking at where the ball was. My head is still, it's not moving. I bring my shoulder up to my chin. Once my shoulder comes up to my chin, I then turn my shoulder and my head goes up. And only now at this point in time do I look to see where the ball is. So again, I'm showing this very slowly. I go ahead, I move my feet, I line up properly. I strike the ball, keeping my head still, going forward, looking at where the ball was. The ball, the racket is going forward in the direction of where it is going. My chin and shoulders connect. They continue across, rotating my body more for my rotation, up. And then I look to see if the ball is in or out. So this happens fairly quickly and then I'm up to see where the ball is going. I don't look up before then. It's absolutely meaningless, and you guys know that if you do this, there's a high probability the ball will go out, and if you're not focused and keeping your head still, it's moving all over the place, there is also a chance that you're gonna make some mistakes. So keeping the body still, especially the head, is critical. So we wanna make sure that we keep the head still, we focus on hitting the ball, trying to make sure that the balls are hit correctly instead of going around trying to be a lines person looking and doing all these other things and I see this all the time and we can surely improve our games making sure we have quality shots because let's be let's be honest about this it's very difficult and I know some of you will probably say that's not the case but it's very difficult for someone to be you have a foot inside for someone at this distance to go ahead and talk about a ball, a close call, if the ball's in or out. Here, this is a different situation, but if I can get more balls here and not worry about these one or two balls here, I'm in business. So if you look at it from that perspective, hitting quality shots, making more balls in the court, rather than rushing the shot, making mistakes to see if one or two balls in a match are gonna be in or out, is actually not that good of a choice. So. Focus on hitting your balls and less about whether the ball is in or out, okay? So I thank you guys for tuning in today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you enjoy this video, give me that thumbs up. And until next time, 
Keep playing tennis. For more information on Carbo Tennis, visit www.carbotennis.com. If you wish to email Coach Robert, please do so at robert at carbotennis.com or visit his Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Carbo Tennis. Tennis for the people. This video was an ADCI LLC production and was filmed at the North Pinellas YMCA located in Palm Harbor, Florida.